Hello fellow hunters and welcome to a new episode from the DLC A Ranger's Life for Hunt Sim 2. Let's find out what is waiting for Dexter and Darius on their way to Hope Lake. If you enjoy the video please leave me a like and subscribe. Thank you. I promised Harry I'd go to Hope Lake. I'll need a hypodermic gun. We'll start with a walk around the lake. We need to take some water samples. Sound good to you? Of course that sounds good to you. I just need to say lake, stream, or creek, and you're happy. Happy to work here, Darius? You could have been a guide dog, a bomb sniffing dog, or a hunting dog, but you chose to be a ranger. Well, it's like all three combined. You smell what I can't see, and we sometimes need to hunt animals, like today. Okay, we've still not come across a bomb yet, but if we do, I hope you smell it before I step on it. While I'm here, I should check that the ducks are doing well. Nothing of note? Good. We'll take a sample of water and move on to the stream. We can go to the stream now. What have you found? Wolf droppings. They come to drink here at night. Okay, let's go. This is the perfect place to take another sample. What's that? Hunter's vest. It must have been carried down by the water. Let's follow the stream. Maybe we'll find out more. Someone slept here.
That's strange. This shoe is new. And it's a good brand. This stove is also new. Whoever it was left in a rush. A fish has been gutted here. Maybe it was an angler. There must be other clues around here. Huh. There were two of them. Well, it's my favorite part of the day. The part when I call Harry. Harry, it's Dexter. Harry, it's Dexter. Do you receive me? No? Harry? Harry's spending the night elsewhere again. What do we do now? Look for droppings to check the animals are eating well, or search our scene of the crime? Okay, I know you like nothing more than smelling turds, but we'll have plenty of time to do that. I first want to know what's happened here. Maybe I should give the shoe for the dog to sniff. I'm right behind you, boy. A shoe print and a barefoot print. If you're leaving with just one shoe, you're scared of something. Let's follow the trail. Go on! The footprints are spaced far apart. They must have been running. Okay. Let's go over what we know. They left their camp in the middle of the night. They probably had a flashlight. They saw the Ranger Center sign and went off in that direction. Maybe the Night Rangers found them. <sighs> but I'll only know that if Harry bothers to call me. In the meantime, let's follow the trail. Dexter, it's Harry. Jeez, Harry, I almost had a heart attack. We need new walkie-talkies. Good These job. old ones, it's like someone strangling a pig when you call me. Yeah, you tried to call me? I was at a meeting in town. Yes. While collecting water samples, I found the remains of a camp. Whoever it was left their belongings in a hurry. They were fleeing something. I followed their trail to the path, and they headed toward the center. Dexter, I just arrived. I'll check with the Night Ranger. Who's that? Michael. Michael, okay. I'll get the memory cards from the cameras in the area. Hopefully they captured something and I'll find out more. Okay, you do that. Let's keep each other posted. The first camera isn't far. Let's go. What do you found? Blood. Damn. Coyote tracks. Hope the hiker's blood didn't attract it. Come on, Darius. Let's take a look. Go on! Quiet now. Let's get out the binoculars. eating something. And there's something strange in his mouth, but I'm not sure what. I should tranquilize him and take a look. Stay there! I need you beside me.
Blood in its mouth and a piece of shoe stuck in its teeth. That's concerning. Find where the blood came from, boy. Good dog. I'll follow. Good job! Go get it! Let's hope the hikers aren't dead. Such a good dog. The second she was covered in blood. Dexter, you there? Yep, I found the other shoe. Well, slow down, what shoe? Ah, uh, sorry. They abandoned their camp and their shoes. And I've just found one covered in blood. That doesn't sound good. I think the campers were attacked by an animal. I found a coyote with a piece of this shoe in its mouth. I tranquilized it, but I think it might have found a body. Should I call the coroner? No, hold on. I didn't say I had actually found a dead body. He said an animal attacked them, but what if it was a wendigo? You think this is funny? Okay, sorry, not a Wendigo. But what about Tommy Knockers? Have you been drinking? Dexter, I heard from Michael. He left me a note which I hadn't seen. Your campers are safe, warm, and dry. And you think that's funny? Lighten up. It's not funny. Remember those hikers killed by a grizzly? I don't want that again. Okay, okay, sorry. Michael found them in the middle of the night. They'd heard grunts and then something walking around next to their tent. They were so scared, they fled and left everything. Basically, they were scared of normal park sounds. Was it their first time? Yep, they were from Baltimore. So, the blood on the shoe was from a foot injury? Trod on a sharp rock. Great, so I knocked a coyote out for nothing. The good news is you've got some free shoes. I need to go. <sighs> Harry can be a real jerk when he wants to be. Aw, oh, you're right, boy. He's always a jerk. Right. Let's find those memory cards. Maybe they captured whatever made those campers flee for their lives. Harry installed the camera badly. Water's got inside. Oh well, let's head back. Looks like a mule deer. A coyote. A coyote. Ah, there we are. The Baltimore Yellow Bellies. Poor things. Oh, hold on. There's a fourth entry. Ah, the file is corrupt. I'll send it to Harry. He might know what to do. That'll put him in a good mood tomorrow. Bedtime. <laughs>